Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. My name is Rob. We're going to continue with the Lost Bastille. And I'm going to take on the Lost Sinner this time. Let's see, I've killed the Old Iron King, the Rotten, the Lost Sinner. What other, uh, oops. between a rock and a hard place here. Trying to think what other um, major bosses there are. As far as lighting, like the uh, primal bonfires. I know, like, there's a fourth one, right? Or is it just the three? Uh, my memory's so bad. And I don't look anything up to know ahead of time before I start recording, so, you know, here we are. Oh, you think there's something with your crossbow, huh? <clears throat> okay. What does this say? Illusion ahead. Yeah, yeah. I know better than to fall for it, but I always fall for it. Let's see. There's a place I can hop off right here to get an item. Whoop. Lacerating knives, five of them. Oh, no, 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 I don't want Radiant Life gems. It's a waste. I want to save those for boss fights. Okay. Yeah, that's Lucatil. So, since Lucatil is, her AI is not the best... Oh lord, there's a flexile sentry down here, isn't there? Yep. Sure is. And once again, I don't feel bad at all about cheesing these enemies with a bow. Because he can run freely through water and I can't. I will poison you in a heartbeat. If you can be poisoned. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, hang on, I don't want to waste that poison arrow. Yeah, uh, let's just let the poison get you. Man, he's got some health, don't he? wonder how long it lasts. Okay. So, not that long. It took about half of his health away, so... Regular arrows don't do much. Nope. Denied. Trying to hasten that poison along a little bit with some wooden arrows. There we go. I can't remember if it's just the one or if there are more of them. Blossom Kite Shield. And as much as I just got this Gargoyle Bite and I want to keep using it, but I know because the freaking uh, explosive enemies can just pop up out of nowhere, it'll be, it'll be smarter to have this equipped where I can just sweep them. Just the one century, or is there more? Got a titanite chunk. Nice. Yep, this stupid fool. Look at there. Because of the tracking, I would have missed him with a spear, and he would have done his stupid explosion attack, and it would have started breaking my equipment. <clears throat> Yeah, it's when I head back to either of the blacksmiths, I can upgrade my great sword again. So that's good. I hear you somewhere. Yeah, there they are. 
Get out of here. There we go. Alright. Yeah, I like to clear out this area before summoning Lucatil. We have a Hate Knight. I think I'll leave him alone for now. I would like to uh, try and get his equipment, though. Well, you know what? Let me see. With the great sword, it shouldn't take me too long to kill him. Do that. Increase my drop rate, and we'll do that. And what else? Jester's gloves. No, that just increases the uh, souls acquired. Hmm. Okay. Do I have any rusted coins? I'm looking. I'm having to squint my eyes here. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if he'll drop me anything. This helmet. I kind of want the helmet. But I'll take whatever he'll drop. Well, I have one of those already, but yeah, it's, it's fine. Ah, <clears throat> uh, what was I using? Wanderer Hood, right? Yeah. There we go. I'll put the silver ring back on. There we go. Okay. I can head on straight through here if I want to, but at the same time, I do want to clear out the rest of this area. Stupid, poorly designed garbage enemy. Get out of here. I hate these guys. Let's see. Hmm, maybe they don't damage your equipment. Maybe I'm thinking of... I could swear that they do, like, damage your equipment, though, at some point in the game. Get out of here. I don't know. I could be wrong. I still hate them, though. It's a really stupid enemy. <clears throat> but I guess, you know... I'm supposed to hate the enemies. Soul of a Proud Knight and a Ferris Lockstone. Always very good. <clears throat> Please don't do that. Try not to use up all my Estus before I get to the Lost Center. There honestly wasn't much to see down here. What about up on this side? Hmm. This dude dropped an item. An alluring skull. And there's a summon in here. Who might this be? Oh, it's, uh... What's his name? Sellsword Lewitt. Cool. Yeah, he's a good summon. He'll aggro enemies and just hold up his shields and he'll let you go to work with your weapons and he just kind of, he's just kind of there to get stuff, you know, off of your back. I like that. Okay. Looks like I'm in the clear now, so... 
or wait a minute there's there's also stuff closer to the boss fog right are there other enemies maybe I'm gonna check it out before I summon oh what's her face and how about I not fall off of this narrow walkway here If I summon her for this boss fight, I think that fulfills, like, her quest line to where, like, I think she only has to, you only have to fight, like, three bosses with her. If I'm not mistaken. And then when you meet up with her in a certain area in the game, she'll give you her equipment. Alright, um, yeah, I'll just use, uh, Flame Butterfly. I've got plenty of them. We'll do this. Make the boss fight a little easier. Alright. <sighs> Why couldn't they have put her summon like right here? Because the last thing I would want to do going into this area is summon her near the beginning. Because her AI is just going to stand there and get beat up on by everything. And, you know, she may just successfully kill like one or two uh, enemies the entire time. And then by the time you get to the boss, she's like down to half health. She can't heal herself. All right, Lucy. <clears throat> Let's do this. Come on, Lucy girl. Lucy Goosey. so funny okay not her like physical appearance just her the way her AI acts all right so let's do this and do I want any weapon buffs how's my durability doing that's eh, doing good okay yeah, this this should be fine. Let's go for it. Lost Center is not an awful boss, I don't think. From what I can remember. Ugh. It's painful. Kind of reminds me of a uh, great sword of Artorias, which she's using there. The hilt design. Blade design looks different a little bit, but the hilt design looks very similar. Yep, doing decent damage there. Ow. Ooh, you know what? Let me see. I know I shouldn't be doing this. Luke Teal, just uh, hold her off there for a minute. There we go. Less damage, but... Ow. Hmm. The reach on that thing is not great. Damage isn't terrible, though. Go on, Luke Teal. Draw the aggro. Like a good summon. you doing damage over there, Lucy? Ow. 
are you even targeting me? Stupid boss. Alright. Luke Teal's starting to get beat up, so... Let's go ahead and finish this. <clears throat> There we go. Yeah, not a horrible boss. At least not on New Game. Soul of the Lost Sinner. Yay. Okay. got here. Fragrant Branch of Yore, which is awesome. I needed that. And an Elizabeth Mushroom. Hmm. Is any of this legit? <laughs> nope. Of course not. Why would it be? <laughs> In the corner it says, stay calm. Alright, let's light up this primal bonfire. A primal bonfire was rekindled. And we'll return to Majula. Hmm. I could start leveling up attunement. Maybe just get it up to 10. And start using some pyromancies. Because I'm fixing to have access to uh, a lot of good ones. Proceed, bearer of the curse. It is the only choice left to you. Okay, so I guess that was all the Lord's souls. I don't have a shard, do I? No. Let's see. How many times can I level up? Three. Man, it sucks that start with so few uh, levels in attunement you have to level it up so many times to get even one slot hmm could just do strength strength nah you know what I'm going to continue leveling up um Strength and health. Yeah. I mean, so far it's working pretty good for me, so why well, mess with a good thing? I'll worry about attunement and stuff later. Which I may regret, but. Eh. You sell anything You've new? You've been long away. Well. You and your stones? No eh. interest yourself. Well, I have interest, just not in what you're selling. Oh, yeah, Look. I can upgrade the sword again. I want to do that. Where is it? Right in front of me. There we go. Go from 340 to 360. My goodness. I'll be around. Yeah, you will. How much damage are we doing? Up with the... Goggle... Bleh, the guard... The Gargle. <laughs> the Gargle Bident. We are doing 342 damage. The Great Sword. 517. That is a huge difference. Whew. This thing is so strong. It has no business being as strong as it is. But, whatever. <laughs> Alright, with the souls that I've got... can I buy from you? You? Probably life gems. Always buy life gems. Uh, could buy some radiant life gems. 13, get 69 life gems. Uh, uh, decisions, decisions. Hmm. 18, though. Yeah, because... Honestly, I'll probably find more Radiant... No, you know what? Yeah, we'll do that. 
and then I'll buy <laughs> one regular life gem. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Thank you kindly. <laughs> you handsome man. Let me rest at the bonfire. I'm realizing that I don't have my Estus replenished yet. There we go. I guess resting at the primal bonfire didn't, uh... Didn't, uh, refill my Estus. Never noticed that. Okay. So... Got that fragrant branch of yore, and this is really the only other place I can go right now. I could start on the Sunken King DLC, but I just really don't want to. I want to wait till I'm, like, beefed up, like, higher level, and just, just better stuff overall before I do any of the DLC. Alright. Here's a cool guy named Ben Hart. Have you business with me? Yes, I do. The way you under is all blocked up, you see, by this... God off his statue. Heavens above. Who thought it a good idea to pit it there? Oof. I'm in quite the pickle now. See that statue? Gives me the willies. You stare at it for long enough, it starts to look alive. Ach, it just doesn't seem quite right. There are no craftsmen round these parts. Hey, you don't think a real life person was turned to stone, do you? See that statue? Ah, hey. Yeah. Old Ben Hart's kind of, uh, at least in my opinion, he's kind of the Sigmar or Sigward of Dark Souls 2. Onion Bro. It's kind of his, like, mannerisms and his attitude and stuff. Here we go. The dang scrotum baboon goblins. Yeah, I... I don't know what they were thinking with this enemy. It's like, let's, let's make this uh, enemy in Dark Souls 2 with this humongous <laughs> herniated nutsack out in front. For what? Well, like why though? <laughs> Messages in this game. I don't get them. Let's see. There's um. I want to say there's some guys up yonder. If I can. Get their attention. Maybe not. Eh, whatever. Okay, let's use the fragrant branch of your. <laughs> Just kind of flies back. Which makes sense if you think she, like she was pulling on this thing with all her might. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The voice actress just going all out. I've been oh, petrified hard to uh, speak. You know, Stray didn't have this issue when we uh, unpetrified him. Take your time. Would, would you like a Kleenex? Like a, maybe a, a cough drop? Got got some uh, halls in my in my bag. Yeah. I'm fine. I think. Are you sure? No, no, no. I'm fine. Positive. Really, I am. Okay, if you say so. Um. My name is Rosabeth. What's up, Rosabeth? Thank you so much for rescuing me. Oh, uh, you know, that's just what I do. Oh. No biggie. Oh. 
You're that traveler. <laughs> I do like Rosabeth, though. I still haven't thanked you. Well, I'm quite a hand at pyromancy. So perhaps you could consider this my thanks. Oh, you're gonna give me a pyromancy? Nope, a prism stone. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Makes no sense. <sighs> I was attacked and turned to stone, I think. Sure seems that way. I owe you my life. If you have not come. Oh, I feel shameful wearing these rags. Well, what were you wearing? Like, I mean, why do you have them on to begin with, then? Um, I hate to burden you further, as you've already saved my life. But just look at me. My clothes are in tatters. Do you have any clothing that you could spare? I'll take anything, whatever you don't need. I'm not particular when it comes to apparel. Anything at all will do. Just put it on the ground, and I'll change into it later. Hmm. Yeah, you don't actually put it on the ground in front of her. You gotta go to give equipment. Hmm. I wonder if I have, like, the whole Pyromancer set I could give her. Since she is a Pyromancer. How many of uh, the heavy boots do I have? Only the one? Yeah, I mean... You know what, sure. You can have the tattered pants. I wonder if it's, uh... I actually don't know what this set looks like on a female in this game. If it, uh... <clears throat> it's the same as in Dark Souls 1, or if it, uh, just looks like... Like what you see there. Yeah. Once equipment is given, it cannot be retrieved. Yep, fine. I have my very own. His name is Carillion of the Fold. A famed sorcerer in Melfia. Our hometown. I was fascinated by sorcery. And so... Well, he's so unique, you see? When he set out for Drang Lake, I couldn't let him go alone. But we were separated. Quite early on, I'm afraid. I always get the feeling that <laughs> old uh, Carillion did did not uh, realize he had a follower <laughs> that was referring to him as uh, her teacher. I'm rather unskilled. My lord probably ditched me. He probably didn't even but notice you were there to begin oddly, with. <laughs> I'm a fast learner when it comes to pyromancy. He's probably ignoring you. <laughs> what we're fascinated by and we're skilled at, are not always the same thing. Girl, you tell the truth. Oh, why can't I just focus on what I truly enjoy? Don't oh, know. Oh dear, I shouldn't be so choosy. It do be it's like that sometimes. I have my very own teacher. His name, I was, when yeah. he's, but. So. You can buy some quartz rings from her. Some fire seeds, which I will eventually buy, and different pyromancies. Poison mist, combustion, fire orb. Yeah, I mean, some fairly decent stuff. And she can reinforce your pyromancy flame and the dark pyromancy flame, which I don't have. Don't have enough souls for that right now, so I won't worry about it. Thank you so much. I'm very happy for this gift. After I change into this, I'm heading for Majula. Hey, you do that. Hmm. I'm not sure where I might find the Lord. But perhaps Majula is my best chance. Yeah, I think you have to have a minimum of 10 intelligence to get him to actually acknowledge you. So at some point, I'll either like just level up my int to that point. I knew you little... A holes were up here. 
Yep, I just... It's great when my weapon bounces off of everything. Of course, it is my fault for using a freaking uh, greatsword, I guess. <clears throat> there we go. Thank you. Thank you for poisoning me. I appreciate it. There we go. Life gem. I knew those guys were up there. I couldn't remember how to bait them to come down, though. Okay. Let's see. Oop. Well. There's a bonfire. Go ahead and light that up. Well, can I not, like, just get up here? Get over there. Let me see. Why am I using this in these tight spaces? Let me switch to this. This will work. Oh, it's a dang old uh, dwarf fella. What are you doing here? Mr. Dwarf? Hmm. What is he doing here? It's pretty far from home. <clears throat> this is the direction of their home, I think, though. Yeah, that was great. Dark Souls Jump Mechanic. There we go. Yeah, that worked good. What? Hey, you get down there and you stay down there. Where are you? Are you walking around? There we go. <clears throat> For a minute it looked like he dropped an item. But, alas, he did not. Let's see. Any illusory walls in here? No. Didn't seem to be. Okay. Got a bonfire. What's in this door? Oh, nice. Oh, nice. An Estes flask shard. Well, I was wanting to kind of go back to Majula anyway to see how that pyromancer set looks on Rosabeth. So. I've got two reasons to go back. Is that a shot? Hate to see. However, there we go. All right, let's see how she looks in. Oh, she's not here yet. What's the deal with that? Try resting at the bonfire. There she is. Okay. Let's see if this armor set looks different for females. It, it does. All right. Awesome. It looks like it does in Dark Souls 1. That's really cool. And it's fitting, with her being a pyromancer and everything. Oh, there you are. I'm here in Medulla, thanks entirely to you. Yay. You even were kind enough to clothe me. Thank you so very much. 
The only thing I can offer is pyromancy. But if that might help you, come to me. All right, so got a few souls here. Go ahead and upgrade this thing once. I'm always here. So come and see me when you're in town. <laughs> she calls it town. She's like the only person that's like actually happy to be here. Everybody else is like, oh, I just kind of ended up in this place. This is where things go that nobody wants when they're throwing everything away. Oh, I'm so depressed. And she's just all like, I, you know, went over treacherous mountains <laughs> following my uh, teacher wherever he went. And then I'm in this, like, lovely town now. She always looks on the bright side of things. <laughs> Let's see, what am I looking for here? Black Gold Gutter, Grave of Saints, Shaded Woods, there we go. That phantom looked like a hexer of sorts. <clears throat> I'm going to go a little bit further, maybe until I get the next bonfire or so, and then I'm going to call it. Wait, what? What? What are you talking about? Get out of here. Can I pull this again? Oh boy. Oh boy. Fewer all of you. Nice. Oh wow. Things just started flying around. Ooh, I got his helmet. The germ. Germ. Whatever kind of helmet. It's like a little, uh, little Viking helmet thing. The stocky germ are kind-natured, but humans deemed them impure and drove them underground. Seems like a very, uh, human thing to do, truth be told. Huh. It almost kind of reminds me of, like, a samurai helmet. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> I had thought about giving her the uh, Black Witch set, but I ended up not doing that. Hmm. I think I'll rock the Thief Mask for a little while. It's cool looking. Man, look at all these freaking uh, messages. Oh my lord, people are just being retarded in this game. <clears throat> How immature. Hey, chill out, dude. I'm gonna poke that big old scrotum you got there. You didn't like that, did you? Hey, this old dude's just eating a corpse. Stop that. That's illegal. <laughs> That's against the law. Cut it out. Yeah. They're flinging rocks at me. What do they think this is? Final Fantasy Tactics? Stop that. Ow. Hey. When I said I wanted to get stoned, this isn't what I had in mind. Put them tiss. Don't do drugs, kids. Uh, or adults. Y'all don't do drugs either. You know, just, just have a, a beer or a glass of wine every now and then. Maybe a, a nice cocktail. <clears throat> Hmm. Look at all of them. 
filthy mongrels just sitting there eating a dead body. How dare they. Break it up. Stop eating that contraband. Soul of a Proud Knight. And Human Effigy. I like this area. This is a cool area. Look at all like the leaves and stuff. It's like autumn. Which is the time of year that we're in. As of recording this uh, video anyway. So we got to that bonfire. It's a broken statue. Along with one that's not broken. Interesting. Yeah, so from here there's... A few different places you can go. Go to the... little foggy area there. I think this goes towards... Uh, the castle. Or does this? And I really don't know. I'll tell you what, I don't feel like I've been recording for that long, so I'm going to go a little further. I'm going to get the dialogue with Fingarl, and then I'll call it. There he is. Okay. Yep, just a severed head just kind of resting there. <clears throat> See if I can get a better view of him. Yep. It's just a, a head inside of a helmet. I wonder if he ever blinks or moves or anything or if that's just him. Freaky. Leave me be. I like it quiet. Leave me be. Oh, okay then. Nah. I'm totally what gonna keep pestering you. you here, traveler? You may call me Vengal, if I deserve a name in this sorry state. Tis rare to flap these gums. This is pleasant. You just told me to leave you alone. What made you change your mind so quick? Long ago, I was hired to defend the kingdom. Oh, now you're going to tell me you're an uh, autobiography. Remember a long, brutal fight, and then... Somebody killed me. Or so I thought. I came to, and found myself like this. I don't know what explains it. But it's not so bad, really. Yep, being a severed head now has its advantages. I watch the days go by, and gaze at the night sky, thinking of the finer things, far removed from war. I'd grown weary of battle, but did not realize it until now. What happens though if, like, you know, the weather warms up and there's like mosquitoes and things. Do they do they like bite your face? And if so, like, how do you deal with that? Or like ants? Or uh, like if a bird flies over at just the right angle and drops some dookie, and it like hits you in the face. So what advantages does being a severed head have? have? What a uh, pulling a Joe Biden here. What advantages does being a severed head have, actually? There we go. That 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 was that's the thing I was trying to say. I know not what brings you on this journey, nor will I deign to ask. You better not deign you to may ask. You bear a great burden, don't we all? Yeah, I bear the greatest I burden. To stay my distance. 
Yeah, you would, but wouldn't you? I want to warn you of something. My body. I see visions. My body, headless, raging without me. My body wielding my sword, a sword forged only to kill. My body will show no mercy. If you see the wretched thing, stay far away. Well, you think your body's bad? I mean, my body has a thick coat of black hair on the back of it, so it's top that. I learn new things every day. Things never learned in battle. Like? And, thanks to you. I've recalled the joy of conversation. Hmm. If I can help you, if you require something, do speak up. You know, um... There are bosses in the game that you can summon Vengarl for, and the very first time I saw his sign and his name popped up, like I literally, like before it registered with me, I thought it was going to be his, like, disembodied head, like just <laughs> hopping around. <laughs> It'd be a lot cooler if it was, but no, when you summon Vengarl, it's his head on his body, and he helps you fight. So, got the decapitate gesture. He sells the claymore really good weapon in this game. He also sells a great sword in case you wanted a second one. Some people do like to dual wield them. He also sells magic barrier, lightning urns, gold pine resins, and destructive great arrows. He sells some pretty good stuff. I cannot lie. Sometimes I wonder what's become of the kingdom. I was a hired hand, yes, but we soldiers stared death in the eye together. To get it. And for his highness, I am afraid. But perhaps it's for the best. We knew not what we fought for. I was born in Feroza, to land in the distant east. When I was born, we were already mired in prolonged conflict with our neighbors. Eventually, our kingdom fell, and our people scattered been a cell sword ever since. All I ever knew was war, and I can imagine no other way to live. What a fool I was. I am grateful for these peaceful days, but such contentment lies only in the here and now. Why must life be so confounding? That's just life, man. Thank you for lending an ear to my ramblings. Here, take these. I've no use for them. Oh, I forgot he, he gives you his helmet. Go along and resume your journey. I cannot lie. I will but but farewell. I will retire to my silence. The only uh, way I can figure that he's able to, like, speak and think being like a severed head is that that's just part of, like, he was undead to begin with, and maybe having his head chopped off like he didn't actually die, he didn't kill him. I don't know. I don't know how Dark Souls 2 really rationalizes that. It seems like something that would happen to you as an undead and you would die and then light resurrected a bonfire. I don't I don't know. Alright, not gonna do this area just yet. You go through here, it leads into This is the path you take that leads to Seldora. And then I don't think you get a Lord Soul from wait. Yeah, you get the you do actually, just not from the boss itself directly. I don't know. I don't know. I forget exactly how it works, but okay. I'm starting. It's starting to come back to me. But I've been recording long enough, so <clears throat> gonna cut it here. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. I'll see you soon with more Dark Souls 2: Scholar of the First Sin. And until then, y'all take care. Uh. 
let's do let's do a righty ho. See you later, guys.